Latoya Moore, and I'll be speaking on the difference between being a CNA and an RN for kids. Briefly about me, I'm currently a CNA, which is a certified nurse's assistant. I My main points today are going to be on education and dealing with the emotions and impact of nurses and how it differs from adult to children. Okay. Being a CNA is pretty simple. You go to school for about three weeks, pass your exams, and then once you pass, you're a CNA. You certify, you recertify every two years. Um, we mainly work with elderly people in nursing homes, perform ADLs, acti activity of daily living, bedside care, feeding, dressing, toileting. It's almost the same duties every day. <coughs> Before I became a CNA, I was a home health aide, HHA. It's a care given to those in the comfort of their own home. This is where I fell in love with children. I had three different cases that were with disabled children. I figured it out, that's my passion. So working in the healthcare field, I wanted more. Have you ever wanted more? Because I won. So I figured it out that, you know, just go back to school for RN a little more responsibility than a CNA. However, you get to stretch your arms in the field. So I said I belong with the future superheroes. So, what's first? Education. This is me now with you guys taking my pre -breaks. And then I'll go to nursing school. Now, nursing school is not a three-week course like a CNA. It's two to four years with your bachelor's. Um, there's a lot of education that comes with it. There's a lot to learn medically and about yourself. A lot of um, medication is prescribed to children. And you have to know the difference based on weight, age, it's a lot. As you can see right here, it says excessive doses, what can happen if you give too much to a child due to their weight or age. As far as adults, it can happen too, but it's more critical when it's with younger children. Not only medically, but personality counts. You have to be somewhat kind, kind of kid-friendly, a bit silly, because children, they read vibes, and they work off of what you give. What they don't teach you in nursing school is how to deal with losses. Not only knowing if you're silly with the kids and can handle being a, a kid-friendly person, you need to know if you can handle losses and stuff like that. Um, you'll go through things mental, emotionally, physically, um, versus being a CNA. Working in a nursing home, you work with old people. You expect them to eventually, you know, die. Children, they didn't get a chance to live their whole life. It's kind of, it's, it's harder. Losing a child, it feels unfair. I read an article by L. Peterson, and it says end of life care takes a skill. It's something you learn in school, and you also learn how to hold your composure because you got to be the one to inform the family. CNAs don't inform families; only nurses can. Um, not only knowing how to handle such situations. You have to know as well when and when not to step in. CNAs don't really step in, we report. And then the nurses step in. Um, as a nurse and a CNA, you still have to be respectful, respectful of others' morals and ethics. 
such as um, a DNR for a child, which is do not resuscitate, opposed to your personal feelings, you have to go with their personal wishes. But in some cases, as far as child abuse, you have to, in, in some states it's a law that you have to report these things. When, when I asked one of my coworkers, Rhonda, she's an RN, what does she do in such situations? She said, I love doing what is right and helping people is simply the right thing to do. And I second that. <coughs> Informing families, parents, and caregivers are a team approach for the patient. Even though health care is important for all people, young and old, like I said, when you're taking care of older people, it feels like quality of life left before the final goodbyes. And with children, you want to take care of them, you expect them to heal and grow, and, and watch them grow. They come back, they visit, people leave pictures with doctors all the time or nurses all the time about their progression. So in conclusion to end shortly, this is the difference between being a CNA and an RN for kids and the goal at the end of the day is to work with the superheroes and make a difference in small people and be able to say, I work in pediatrics, getting a child to laugh is one of the most rewarding things I've ever experienced.